Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I will be doing a review and a unboxing on the Revlon One Step Dryer and Volumizer. Enjoy this video and let's get started. Before we begin, a few things that you guys need to know that I've researched. You need to have your, you need to take a shower and let your hair dry about 70 to 90 percent. So that is what I'm doing. I just have it up because I was just doing a quick little makeup look and um so i'm just gonna wait for it to get to that point and then we will get started okay these are the products that i will be using on my hair um, i usually just spray on this one and this one this the spray doesn't really work anymore for this one so I, that's why i bought this one so i could probably change the top and use this one but this one was recommended when i purchased this one so I just added it to my cart because it was only three bucks. If it works, I'm going to continue to buy this one because I forgot how much these were. But I bought these at my salon so I know, you know, they work. I'm just going to apply these on my hair real fast and then I will open this up and start using it. I just finished applying this thermal spray it smells so good guys totally recommend this one it doesn't even smell like hairspray it's so it smells so good my other two that I showed you guys smell so much like alcohol it sucks I hate putting it on but this one you guys get it okay so before I turn it on I want to show you guys how it has four settings it has the off button the cool button the low button and the high. So, one, two, three. So what I've heard is when you use this tool, you wanna to use it in cool, because if you use it at high, it this just gets way too hot. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try, you know, go do it safe, go safe. And I'm gonna start off at cool. And then once I'm like on the top, I'll turn it to high. And if it turns too hot, I'll just switch it back to cool and I'll know which I kind of already know to leave it out cool. So yeah, so let's get started. I'm going to part my hair like this and just leave the bottom row like that and start from my way from the bottom to the top. I think I just have to go through it and I'm gonna try doing change it in low settings. If you have thinner hair, I feel like cool will work just fine. Okay, I just finished a couple things. Um, so I ended up, I started off at the cool setting, but then I switched it to low setting because cool just wasn't doing it for me for my hair. I do have really thick hair. So for those girls that were blessed with the thick hair, use use it in low setting and you'll be fine. Um, another thing that I do have to say about it is that it's so heavy. I do have tiny fingers and hands, but it's like, I don't know. Okay, so now I am getting to the top part. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from the front to back. So I'm gonna just do this it like this and blow dry and work my way back Okay, Whew. 
it is hot in here. So I just uh, flipped my hair back and I was blow drying it. Does this product give your hair volume? Definitely. <laughs> Look at my hair, guys. I mean, you know, I, I don't mind it at all. Okay, so this is the final results. I have to give this a 9. I didn't give it a 10 just because it is really heavy for my hand to be holding. I love the volume it gives me. I love I love everything of this product. The only thing, if you have thick hair, use it at low settings, not on cool. If you have thin hair, I would suggest using it at cool. Unless you want to get it done, you know, faster. Um, but I totally love it. It works. Straighten my hair nicely. If I want to style it with a, my wand, I can go ahead and do that on the tips. But I just love, look at how much volume I have up here. And use if you want this type of volume, use it how I showed you guys. I went from like that down. Like a, like a reverse C or like an O shape. But yeah, that is my review and my final thoughts on this. Revlon. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys on the next vlog. So I want you guys to hear the sounds of the settings real fast. So right now I have it on off. The next one is cool. The next one will be low and then high. So let's go back to cool. Low. High. And I want to clarify, in this video I kept saying it's really heavy. It's not heavy, it's just big. You know, it's it's thicker than what I'm usually used to with, you know, my curling wand or my straightener, which is flat. So this one is more of a grip. So my, ha my hand is just not used to, you know, doing this. It's like, oh my God. But yeah, that's what I meant. It's not heavy. <laughs>